Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am Deb Chanel. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming over to the house. It's always a family affair. Everyone's welcome and their opinions are welcome as well. Just as long as we're not tearing each other up, cussing each other out in those comment sections, just talk about or related to the subject matter that we got going on or that, that we're putting out here for you to partake of. Don't waste your time fussing with people, arguing with people uh, in their difference of opinion of what you may have stated in your comments. Honey, they are already down there. You don't solidify it. You don't spoke your piece and let's move on, okay? That's what we do over here. Respect, get respect, all right? Or you get blocked or dismissed, okay? However you want to view it, however you want to take your stance. But that's how we roll over here at Deb Chanel's 48's World, okay? Get into it. Or please click off and go find another channel to get uh, into with it or whatever. Because we don't fuss over here. We're grown. We pretty much state our opinions and we move on. On the subject matter. Again, on the subject matter. Not each other. And definitely not me, okay? But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. You know I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But share my videos, like my videos, and definitely, like I said, get down in them comments and express your opinion on the particular video of the subject matter. Okay, but we're going to be banging out another salacious story that was written um, by Ricky Mathers over there uh, with a Celebrity Insider vlogging site. Uh, she's a correspondent or journalist over there and she's into entertainment news and she wants to catch the news on what you can use okay and partake of and talk about it with your family your friends or whomever you get down and talk with when it comes to social media entertainment okay if you're not doing uh, doing it over here with me then you're missing out you must agree <laughs> But okay, that's what we got going on. But her article she titled was called Nene Leaks Responds to Rumors That She Is Being Pushed Out to Attract a Younger Audience. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's really true or not, but maybe some people don't want to see the old people up there or the seasoned uh, individuals up there telling their truth on the uh, platform of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know how young they wanted to go. Do they think this is hip hop Atlanta or something? Please, we need diversity and we need age, a, a, a range, so we can get, you know, the younger people's perspectives as well as the season one so they can all match together be woven together to make a clear conceptual conceptual uh foundation of what they're giving us as far as a reality uh programming um station or, or or particular sitcom we're looking at you got to have some wisdom in there and with wisdom comes experience and experience comes on longevity so you can't erase the season ones to attract a younger crowd because it wasn't like that when it started it wasn't all about that when it started okay but we're gonna move on from there and get on into her article okay she goes on to say the Real Housewives of Atlanta remains on top as the highest rated franchise on Bravo Network. There was recently a rumor spread that claimed the network will be pushing out Nene Leaks in order to attract a younger audience. What do y'all think about that pushing out part? And I did hear some rumors in the streets saying she inked a deal for three more years. So pushing out i don't know unless she does something fake fraudulent and full of feces some similar to what phaedra pause did to get her quick fast and out on them streets okay and unemployed and trying to do any and everything to get a reality show just as hot as the real housewives of atlanta because we know we've been seeing phaedra out there every chance she gets she's taking a photo here and there instead of just going on in her professional career and making it work but she wants that limelight honey that entertainment bug done bit her bad and she wants back on but we already know that's gonna be a no-no a no-go for bravo entertainment okay but moving on maybe they'll have a reality show that co that's called fake fraudulently attorneys out there in the ATA, or maybe she'll fit right on in there and she can spearhead it but other than that I think her claim to fame has so long 
Honey, good times never feel so good. That's in my line of rich boys. Okay. But anyway, moving back to the article, it says this was believable for many Bravo super fans who have noticed that the OGs are getting less screen time and Bravolettes like Vicky Gunvison have been downgraded to friend of the cast. Wendy Williams covered this gossip in Hot Topics and got Nene's unfiltered thought on it. I called her up on the speakerphone, meaning Wendy Williams, I guess on her show doing Hot Topics. Uh, she was in hair and makeup, and we quote her. She said she's not anxiously awaiting anything. She said that they can phase her out anytime they want, and she will not lose sleep, child. Then she goes on to say the housewives are like soap operas. They come and go, but the fans love the original stars. Now, I can't say that because when you think about General Hospital, honey, you think about Luke and Laura. And how long has that been? Girl, that was in the late 70s, 80s. They were getting their foot in. And when you say General Hospital, that's exactly what I think about. What I think about, um, damn, what was the person's name? Scorpio. Uh, he was a, like a little... I don't know, assassin on now, trying to help Luke and Laura out from the Cassidy family or something like the Cassidy family. That, it was something else. That was in the 80s when it was hitting, okay? Or when you think about the sitcom Dallas with J.R. Ewing and stuff. Now, when you say Dallas, I think about uh, his wife, Sue Ellen, and I think about J.R. <laughs> So it's just claim to fame, just like when you say Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, I do think about Nene Leakes. I, I, you know, it's a little chill, yeah. But that's just, you know, my claim to fame. But anyway, moving on from there, going back to the article, it says she went on to say that Leakes brought up uh, the point that Cynthia Bailey is the oldest of the Real Housewives of Atlanta girl, so she would have to be booted out first. Okay, so Nene still got her horns out. Mm, she's still trying to put daggers in Cynthia's back but okay do what you must do honey do what you must do to bring the drama okay going back to the article it says this may stem from Andy Cohen's messiness on a recent episode of watch what happens live where he announced that a fan pointed out that the glee alum was outfit was an outfit repeater okay and if y'all don't remember that video I did it um also, just checking my archives, and you preview that video, get your watch Kiki on, all that. Uh, and it was just shading her, in a sense, which he do all the women. He, mostly, he pick at the Real Housewives of Atlanta women uh, worse than he do any of the other ones on the franchise group. But he was just uh, making reference to Nene and her confessionals. She was wearing one of her dresses she had partaked of at some time charity event or some kind of event he was hosting it might have been bravo con i don't know but her strap ended up breaking and he he noticed that during her confessionals in season 12 she was wearing the gown and he just made a little comment but like i said i think um nene's feelings just got hurt because he was also at the clubhouse and he had ashante ashante and um eva marcel as guests on his show and when he made that a comment Eva just was like laughing up to you know laughing like a little hyena up there just laugh laugh and laugh like she couldn't catch her breath and Nene just didn't like it so she called herself calling in in the show and getting her little two cents in and then she went on a social media press 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 type situation trying to um make Andy look bad because she even made a comment about okay you talking about how many times I can recycle my gowns how many times you recycle your suits and ties <laughs> I'm saying shade worthy shade worthy point one for both of them okay give them both points but they haven't really been doing any banter since then so they tied with the shade they gave on that night okay but um Going back to the article, it says that Nene and Andy engaged in some back and forth surrounding the topic. Leaks also took the Instagram to tell fans to tune in and and threw wait a minute, fans to tune in and throw shade at her co-stars in the process. Uh, it says tune in to Real Housewives of Atlanta tonight and watch these girls slander me per usual, like I've been or I have been become. Or let me go back. 
like I have been becoming a punching bag for them and others at this point for real. If they didn't talk about me, what the hell would they talk about? Oh, I forgot each other. Like they already do on Bravo TV, 8 p.m. Okay. So they're asking or... Ricky Mathers is asking people after they read her commentary, do you think that the network could be planning to take a peach from the Broadway star, meaning Nene Leakes? Me, I said no. I really think that it is what it is. Uh, she was one of the founders of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, so we have to like pay homage in that way. Has she been acting like a true HBIC from her induction all the way up to uh, season 12? I can't say no. She's been kind of lackluster for the last three uh, seasons, and she really has not given any OG HBIC material that solidifies her in that role. But like I said, she was self-appointed. Um, she appointed herself to that title and really has not lived up to it for season 10, 11, and 12 in my eyes. And that may be different from other people. I'm just telling you my perspective and my viewpoint on that. But um, I still like her. She has a, a formative force about her that you definitely cannot deny. But I don't know what's going on with her when she feels like she can't stay in a room and uh, you know, people getting on her nerves. They don't too much understand where she coming from. So she had to remove herself from situations. And that's just not HIV. I said HIV. HBIC material in my eyes. But let's see if we can play a little clip when somebody is actually interviewing her and they're bringing up the position uh, or the statement that was made that she's being forced out to generate a new space for, I guess, somebody new so they can have more younger audiences coming in and park it, taking up the show. Okay, let's see if it'll play. Hopefully it will and y'all can hear, but here we go. I'm sure y'all will see it maybe in her confessionals or whatnot. But she was saying, press, 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 press. Nene don't need no press. Ki, 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 ki. And I'm like, Nene, you full of it. You are full of it, child. But it is what it is. So that was my commentary on this particular um, article that was written out um, by Celebrity Insider titled, Nene Lee's response to rumors that she's being pushed out to attract a younger audience what do y'all think about that do y'all think that has some validity to it or is it time for nini to retire would she be with us for a season where we at 12 13 14 15 and then they may be signing off all together and creating something else for us to look at i don't know i really don't know hmm it is just what it is, isn't it, guys? So just tell me what y'all think. If y'all care to partake and get down in them comments and let me know what y'all felt about this particular uprise of them trying to push Nene out prior to her wanting to go. I don't know, honey. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about any of my housewives women these days, I tell you. But, hey, it's news. It's trending out there, so we're here to talk about it. It's a family affair over here, so speak your mind. Just speak your mind on the subject matter, okay? And I will see y'all next video. And continue to subscribe, 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 as well as like and share my videos. And, of course, you know y'all can comment at any time, at any given moment, all right? And I'll see y'all soon for another video. Bye-bye.